Introducing the Temperature Control System by Cinestill Film. The TCS is more than just a device that you can use to heat and maintain the temperature of your chemistry for film development. It's also an incredible way to mix your chemistry fast and a timer that you can use for each step in the development process. Now let's jump into it. Before you plug it in, you should make sure you have the right version of the TCS for your region. There's a US version and a European version for the different voltages, and you do not want to fry a TCS with the wrong voltage. First thing we're gonna do to make this video a little easier is get a container for the TCS to clip into. Fill it with water, clip your TCS to the side, plug it in, and hold down the power button to turn it on. Okay, other than the power button, we've got the CS button and the adjustment wheel. When you look at the screen, you'll see quite a few things on it. The current temperature in the middle, the target temperature in the corner, the first stage timer in the left-hand bottom corner, and the second stage timer in the right-hand bottom corner. When you turn the TCS on, the default target temperature is 102 degrees Fahrenheit, perfect for C41 development. To change your target temperature, move the adjustment wheel up and down. To change units from Fahrenheit to Celsius, press and hold the power and the CS button at the same time. Oh, and tap the CS button and use the adjustment wheel to adjust the two timers if needed. Tap the power button to start the circulation and heating, and finally, press and hold the CS button to start the first timer. At the end of the first timer, you'll hear a beep. The TCS gives you a 30 second pause before the second timer starts to allow you to pour the next chemical into your development tank. Another beep at the end of the second timer means you are all done. One of the features that sets the TCS apart is its ability to be placed directly into most photographic chemical solutions. This allows you to mix both powder and liquid photochemistry with ease. Do note that when using the TCS to mix chemistry, be mindful of cross-contamination of your chemicals and rinse with clean water between mixing and heating. Always mix or heat your chemistry in the order that the chemicals are used in the process. For example, do not transfer your TCS directly from Blix to developer without rinsing. To rinse your TCS, circulate two 1,000 milliliter pitchers of clean water to remove any chemical residue from the TCS. This helps prevent any possible cross-contamination of your chemistry. Some developing processes are more temperature sensitive than others and require precise control during processing. Placing your bottles of chemistry and your developing tank in a water bath is one of the best and most accurate ways of maintaining the temperature of your chemistry. Here are a couple things to consider when using the TCS in a temperature controlled water bath. When choosing a water bath, the size, material, and surface you're setting it on matters. A large water bath transmit and maintains heat better than a smaller one. Right now we're using a 16 quart plastic tub. An insulated plastic container is better than a conductive one, like a metal container, because it holds heat longer. Also, a warm tub loses heat faster when sitting on a cool surface. Placing a towel under your water bath container will help it from losing heat. If you're using a TCS in a water bath, it's important to measure the temperature of the chemistry inside the bottles. Just because the water bath is up to temperature does not mean the chemistry inside of the bottles is up to that set temperature yet. Stick a thermometer into each bottle of chemistry to check the temperature of the chemistry inside before you pour it into your development tank. Oh, and don't forget to rinse your thermometers between bottle temperature checks. When processing, you can place your development tank back into the water bath and semi-submerge it to maintain the temperature of the chemistry inside of the tank. This helps the temperature of the chemistry from dropping too much. For some longer, more temperature-sensitive processes like D9 Dynamic Chrome Slide Developer, a big temperature drop can result in color shifts and underdeveloped images. Like any piece of home developing equipment, proper cleaning and maintenance is crucial. After you're done using the TCS, unplug it from your power source. Remove the black cap at the base by twisting 1 8 of a turn clockwise and slide off the black silicon sleeve. Place them into a pitcher of water in the sink. Place the TCS into the pitcher and allow the running water to wash your TCS for a few minutes. Oh, and do not wet the head of the unit. Once finished, remove the TCS from the pitcher and set it on a paper towel standing up to allow it to fully dry. While it's drying, never lay it on its side. If you still have questions or need more information on the TCS 1000, go to cinestillfilm.com slash get started or contact us at support at cinestillfilm.com.